Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. All right, so today we make it press homes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right, so I have already prepped other sets, but um, for this set, we're going to go ahead and prep it. We're going to uh, knock off the edge of it. We're going to um, crispen up the shape of the um, full cover nail tip. So, yeah. We're going to do all 10 of these. We're going to make it as fast as we possibly can. And the nail file that I'm using is from Tulip. It's an 8080 grit file. Very coarse. Love it. Love it. Uh, you want to make sure that you're holding these nails really steady so you don't knock them out of your own hand. And you also want to make sure that you are making them straight. No one wants crooked nails. Okay. Especially on the free edge, you don't want your nail to be crooked. Make sure you're being really precise. So, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm on the phone. So, if I start pausing, it's probably because I'm talking to somebody. And I probably can't hear them because I'm fouling with this uh, hand file. And I'll be going so hard, y'all. I really do. Keep going, keep going. You got this, you got this. I'm going to add in some music. Um, I might add in music. I'm not really sure. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do our 10 of these. Like I said, next thing you do after you do this is you have to buff them. I like buffing them rather than uh, wiping them down with isopropyl alcohol because that does work. It does take off the uh, shine off the tip, which is what we are doing when we buff them. Uh, I'm not going to keep in all of this buffing only because you can barely see me because I get out of the I get out of frame. So let's see how let's see if y'all can see. OK, there we go. You can see me do this thumb. You just see me do the last thumb, but I'm about to uh cut out the rest of them only because you really can't see. OK. All right. Give me a second. All right, boom. So we all freaking buffed out. Now we need to place our uh, nail tips on our nail stands. I got these nail stands from Amazon. Yes, I got them from Amazon. We're going to place all the tips on these nail stands. Uh, and I'm using a some two-sided adhesive tape on my little um, pawns. I think of them as pawns, like uh, from the chessboard. So, y'all know the little pawns? I'm using uh, two-sided tape. I'll link that down below. I also got that from Amazon as well. And I like to uh, place them in order. Of the fingers so yeah uh, when I'm doing press-ons I like to ask my clients what size nail bed do they have here comes the train how wonderful because mm -hmm, I'm not making a video I'm not busy I'm not busy right now I know right anyways so yeah um we're going to place all the tips on there. I don't even know what I was saying before that freaking train just interrupted me. Um, Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out why are we at a standstill right now? Like, why am I not doing anything? What's going on? What's going on? Am I, am I going to do something? Or am I just chilling? I'm probably picking out my nudes right now for this nail set because it is going to be nude and brown. Yeah, frame. There's a 75% chance this is going to be in frame. Okay, so the new that I'm using is from Beatles. They have this um, nude collection. I think it has like four or five colors. Really cute colors. I really like um, doing French tips with them. French tip press-ons. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, guys. Out of frame again. It's because I'm painting the nail. And like I said, when I'm painting the nail, like I said, I'd be moving that's why I say you need to make sure your space is clear so you have free range. I flip them upside down, paint the other way, paint any type of way. Um, I like the fact that this Beatles uh, gel polish has self self leveling attributes to it. So if I let this sit, it's gonna level itself out. You know, sometimes a uh, gel polish kind of has streaks in it. Well. I set this down for a couple seconds. It starts to level out. There's no streaks. All I got to do is wipe down the sides and we're good. I do, I think, two layers, two or three layers of this uh, nude color just to make sure it is opaque. And I am doing thin layers because the thin, the thicker the layer, 
the hard it is for the harder it is for your gel polish to actually cure inside of your nail lamp so yeah let's make sure we're not doing super thick layers i mean yeah super thick layers of gel polish be mindful of that okay go to second layer it builds really nicely it's really cute um i need you guys to understand that some of the pawn pieces are black so with that being said it'll show up under the press on but when you put this nail on your nail bed you won't see that like you won't be able to see your nail bed unless your nail bed is black so i just want to say that because this is our second layer i'm pretty sure i'm going to stop here so just in case you see the shadow of the black pawn piece understand that it's because it's black and this is nude it's inevitable inevitable for you to see it so yeah there we go second layer second layer spice it up spice it up do your thing baby i really love painting with gel polish i don't know what it is it's so smooth and it just looks so great like i can appreciate that so yeah so pretty i love a good nude i love a good nude okay now it's time for the other hand yes lord we're gonna go in and do our second coat on this hand like i said i told you guys i, I told i told y'all i told y'all that i was gonna be back in frame i told y'all i just had to wait i had to wait it out and i do apologize because that was <laughs> seemed like a long time but like i said please don't pay it no mind if you can see that black pawn piece under these press on nails like i said it's because it's black and once you put these on your nail beds you will not see them i know that for a fact because i have worn this nude color on my press on nails before personally so yeah um uh, make sure you're being really neat when you're um painting your press ons you don't want the uh gel polish to get underneath the nail because then you have to clean that up too clean it off clean it off clean it off and i do that just so i can keep my shape i don't want it to start bulking up on the sides i'll do the same thing even when i'm doing acrylic nails and i'm putting a top coat on just gonna clean up the sides because gel polish does have a tendency to bulk up just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit you know not a lot of bit but a little bit uh, unsure of what I'm doing here. Probably looking for the brown color that I'm going to use. Probably looking for some foil that I'm going to use. I have absolutely no idea what's going on right now. And why are we just sitting here? Okay, I know what I was doing now. I was cleaning my liner brushes. Ladies, if you keep, if you keep everything clean, you won't have to waste time. Boy, I just wasted time. I just wasted a lot of time. Right now, I am painting these clear nails with base coat gel. Yes, ladies, base coat gel. It is a dupe for the blooming gel. Yes. Okay, so boom. I paint it with the uh, base coat gel. I do not cure it. I go straight in and start making my lines for my crocodile. We're doing straight lines all the way down, really small, thin lines. And then we're going to go on the sides and go in between those lines and make really small lines as well. And then by the time we're done, it's going to spread out, but it's not going to touch because we have base coat gel to keep it from touching each other. So, boom. We got to go fast, though. We got to go real fast. As you can see, the middle lines are starting to spread. So cute. So cute. Boom. All right. We got to hurry up and do our pinky. We took that one out. Oh, I guess we didn't do our pinky. Oh, so we didn't do them all together. Oh, look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't know why I'm rushing. I don't know why I'm rushing, but I do remember like trying to speed up everything. There we go. Down the middle. Down the middle. Straight lines. Straight lines. Now, we don't want it to be like a super thin layer of gel polish because we do need it to spread some. And if it's super thin, it won't spread out enough. So, yeah, be mindful of that. Um... Be consistent with your uh your placement. So yeah, make sure you're going in between. Yep, look at the hair. Oh my god, I really like doing crocodile nails. Those are some of my faves. So yeah. And I think I'm going look at that. Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. Alright, so we put that in. Dang, so we did them separately. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate me taking my time. 
Look how good that crocodile nail looks. Look at it. All right, so we put another drip down so we can go ahead and do this nail. That crocodile nail looks so good, bruh. So, yes, ladies, uh, base coat gel is definitely a dupe for blooming gel when it comes to this crocodile stuff. We're going to be consistent. We're going to go down the nail. Yes, yes, law. Like I said, we do not want a super thin layer of gel polish because we want it to spread out. Yes. Keep going, keep going. You got this, you got this. Flip it around if you need to. These are press-on nails. So that means you can do whatever you want to do with the nail. You can pick it up and you can put it down. Okay? Okay. Put it in. Cute. All right, let's do this nail. See, if I was smart, I would have took those pieces off of the freaking nail stand. If I was smart. Not saying that I'm dumb. I'm just saying if I was smart, I would have took that off. Because, um, yeah, I'm doing too much right now. So, like I said, thin lines going down the nail, down the middle of the nail, down the middle of the nail. You got this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you're going to do your uh, lines on the side. Make sure you're being consistent so the pattern looks so good. People won't even be able to tell that you use base coat gel. I mean, sh nobody should be able to tell that you use base coat gel, for being honest. If we're being honest, then we're being technical. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Looking good to me. You did your thing, sister girl. So I take them out the nail lamp, put them in the nail lamp. Take them out the nail lamp, put it in the nail lamp. Yes, yes, yes. I sure the F do. All right, so now I'm trying to figure out what exactly am I going to do with these new nails because mm, it's looking kind of plain. It's looking kind of regular. Regular degler, regular schmegler. You feel me? So I'm like, dang, what am I going to do? I want to add some gold, but I'm like, do I want to add gold charms? Do I want to put a word on it? Do I want to add some uh, designer designer um decals or do i want to add designer um i don't know uh, i want to say emblems but that's not what i'm trying to say it's like the um not stones but um something i don't know it's something y'all is late i'm sorry but yeah um i finally decided on just adding some gold foil it's kind of like gold trimming <laughs> and that's kind of how i like to move when it comes to this press on stuff I don't want to use nothing but gel polish. I don't want to. I don't want to do extra when it comes to press ons. Will I do extra? Of course, if I'm paid. If I'm not paid, I'm not doing extra. And I know for a fact I told y'all that I wasn't gonna come back on this goddamn on camera with ashy freaking hands. But look at him. I want you to um, look in between my thumb and my pointer finger. When you get a chance, just peep it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't got to, you know, really say too much. But, you know, I'm just letting you know that I know that I'm ashy. And it's okay. I'm not tripping. So, yeah, um, I just took the gold foil and just uh, went across the side. I think I left one nail fully uh, nude. Maybe it's possibly because I got lazy and I didn't feel like continuing to put foil down, which can be annoying. Because it gets every dark on wear. Literally, it gets everywhere. At least this foil gets everywhere anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left one full nude now. Pretty sure. I'm like, mm, I'm like 80% sure. Because anything's possible at this time. Ooh, look how pretty that gel polish looks. I just like when the gel polish just looks so cute. Yep, and then I like to go in and tap in the foil just so I can make sure it's flat. So I can go over it with top coat and be done. That's it. And that's all. Okay. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me more. Give me more. If you got more, give me more. Okay. Now we got to do the other nail. Other side. I'll be like, dang. I got two freaking hands to do. Every single time. All right. Boom. Like I said, we just going to go across. Do a diagonal little something, something on the side, add in, uh, add in this foil, and then we gonna um, top coat it with some top coat, Beatles top coat to be exact. And when we um, top coat it, it's going to what do you call it? Encapsulate it technically. 
so yeah um i do two fingers on this hand as well i didn't know that these hands matched ex up exactly but i guess they do that's cute too synchrony i think that's what it's called synchronization i don't know uh it's synchronized hmm I don't know. I probably said all those words right and actually used them all right. And I'm discouraged right now and I don't know why. But yeah, uh, so we're, like I said, we're going to pat this in because we want it to be as flat as possible when we go in with our gel polish top coat. And yes, I am trying to use every piece of flake that fell down on my desk because, yeah, I'm cheap. I don't like wasting product. That's just no. I don't like. No. Hell. Ooh, I was about to cuss again. Heck No it's not a thing uh to be wasting product unsure of what i'm doing right now unsure of what i'm doing right now oh my god oh my god oh my god i literally could have cut all of this out and this video probably would have been like 10 minutes oh my god now i'm irritated because this is a waste of time no portia you've wasted these people's time too many times okay all right all right all right all right i guess i could tell you guys a little something, something by myself i'm from north carolina that's where i reside this is where i've always resided i've never lived outside of north carolina i want to but you know north carolina is not that bad um i'm from fayetteville north carolina same place that j cole's from uh what he raps about in his songs are semi-true like mm, when he was rapping it, definitely true. Right now, I don't think it's as... It's not the same, you know? Like, places decide to, you know, grow, evolve. I think Fayetteville is in the process of growing and evolving and uh, cutting down crime and stuff like that. But back in the day, as in his era, as in the times that he was talking about, very accurate. Very, very accurate. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Right now, I am using top coat to top coat these nails. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Look at that croc nail. Oh, my God. It looks so freaking good, bruh. That thing looks good. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Show them, show them, show them the nails. Show them the nails. Clean it up. Clean it up. All right. You did your thing. We appreciate it. Okay. Put them in the lamp. Put them in the dirt. All right, uh, let's see. Are we going to do the second hand? We're probably going to do the second hand. Hey, guys, I'm so sorry that this video was super long. I'm so sorry. I just want to say um, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I noticed that my press on videos don't get as much attention as my acrylic nail videos. So I'm not too upset that you guys probably won't watch this all the way through. But at the end of the day, I still want to uh, put the content out there. Somebody may watch it. Somebody may want to watch it. Some somebody may want to understand, know, and appreciate this video. So I still want to put it out. Um, like I said, I love you guys. I appreciate all the feedback. And I'm about to dip up out of here because I'm tired. And I'm pretty sure I have edited and did voiceovers for six videos okay okay like i said i love you guys i will be dropping like crazy okay all right peace out